There are more chickens in the world than there are people. <coughs> and no wonder, with generous farmers like this feeding them all over the place. <coughs> now the boy chickens are known as cocks. They're the gents. The ladies here, they're known as hens. And they're particularly useful to our farmer because they lay him lots of lovely eggs. Cup, 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 cup. Come on. That's why he's got more girls than boys. Cup, 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 cup. Come on. <laughs> Though the farmer has been very generous with his seed, there's no such thing as a free lunch and it's time for the hen to give up her eggs. What a lovely clutch. There are not a hundred chefs in England with eggs as fresh as these today. This is the cake factory where we're going to use some of those eggs to make the perfect birthday cake mix. One of the reasons that cakes taste so delicious is that they're made from really high energy foods like butter. And to it, we must add just the right amount of sugar. Not only does the sugar make the cake taste sweet, but without it, the baker would end up with something less like a cake and more like a loaf of bread. After the eggs, a dose of powdered wheat is thrown in. That's flour to you and me. This flour is self-raising, which means it has a special ingredient called baking powder a chemical mix that makes gas when it's warm and wet, so the mixture puffs up and rises in the oven. Now what's all this smiling about? Of course, chocolate sauce. Well done indeed. The cake tins have been smeared with butter and lined with parchment. The idea is to prevent the cake mix from sticking to the tins when it's baked, so you can get the cake out without destroying it. It takes half an hour for the mix to rise in the hot oven. The cake lady is rushing with not a moment to lose. Success? Yes! The cakes have risen and they look just right. A chocolate butter cream is smeared over to provide moisture, making the cake easier to eat. And onto the turntable it goes, ready for the application of icing. The making of icing is an art form in itself. This blob of fondant icing is made from sugar, water and something called cream of tartar and that's made from the scrapings of old wine barrels which develop a film of tartaric acid. Apparently it stops the sugar from forming into crystals so we end up with a paste that we can smooth out as flat as we like. It makes you wonder how on earth people discover these things. A little knife work to chop away the excess. And to provide those finishing touches, a pink ribbon and a crimping tool. Finally, and at an incredible speed, some birthday greetings are added. So, we all know where this cake is going. A children's party! And here comes Mum with the cake. I hope she hasn't told her friends that she cooked it herself. This little girl is five and has quite a job on her hands if she wants to blow all these out. Now she can make a wish and everybody is delighted because at last they can start to feast on the cake. Once Mum eventually cuts the thing. What a treat for the palate and all thanks to those friendly old chickens. That's right, keep eating girls. 
It'll be someone else's birthday tomorrow, and we need those eggs.